morning guys today uh before we do the predator 212 shooting flames uh, i'm gonna do a couple things that will make it even better for when we drive it later today one of those things is going to be the chain fixing the chain because it's loose so it always falls off and then another thing is i got a new steering um assembly different from the yellow which will be a lot nicer it's black and it's metal so it's a little bit more durable especially since with the steering angle um, that I have for drifting on it it makes it difficult to steer so having those plastic pieces on there is just not going to cut it so we're going to have to switch it uh, to a nicer brand and so we're going to go ahead and do that all right guys so what I went ahead and did is I got a couple of these chain links um, from Go Power Sports. Um, this one is a 35. Um, I'll put a little diagram right here of how to measure your chain if you don't know how. Um, it's pretty simple, but yeah, you go ahead and follow that diagram. You get your chain and then you go ahead and get a chain remover. So then you can break the chain, put it down to like the size you need. So then you can put this fitting on there. And so it's nice and uh, like snug so then it won't fall off. Um, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now. So this is actually the tool I uh, bought to break the chain. So as you can see, as you twist it, um, that needle will um, break the chain. I got this for $15 off a of wish. You can probably get better ones, but this will have to do for now. And we're gonna go ahead and break the chain. This big crack right here, which is not good. Um, cause that crack right there and this crack are the only cracks that should be there cause then the bolts can hold it. But since this one is past it, it's not even, it's not really holding on. So this, uh, this spindle's hub needs to be replaced. Um, but the spindle is perfectly fine. It's in good shape. Um, but yeah, it sucks that I need a new hub, but, um, you know, when I get a new one, it'll look a lot nicer. So I guess that's a win-win. Um, now I just got to figure out this chain situation as far as how long, um, it should be to fit it. So I'm going to do that right now. I couldn't get the chain to shorten. It wasn't short enough to shorten, but it's just long enough to keep slipping off. So I think on another day, I'm gonna have to move the engine position just a little bit more back so that I can um, press it a little bit closer together. But I did get um, the new chain link on there so then I can go back and uh, you know shorten it and replace it when I need to. So, um, I'm gonna just stop doing that. Um, I already showed you guys that the spindle hub was cracked, which really sucks. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the steering column. <laughs> sucks so apparently i wasted my money because i even ordered the bigger size which is the three quarter inch and it does not fit so um probably gonna give this to jeffrey if it fits his steering shaft 
uh, because as you know, we already started on his go-kart and we're trying to get his um, steering situated because it's all like, like a setup that I've never even seen before. So I'll go ahead and put this back on. Honestly, I'll probably uh, either, if I can't find a new one, um, I'm probably just gonna spray paint this black and clean it up. Um, same with the, um, the shafts mount. So this goes to show that like things don't always go as you plan, but we're still gonna continue for the flames uh, from the Predator 212, which will be at night. So um, catch you guys in a couple hours. All right guys, so as you can see, it's quite a bit darker now. And about to start up the go-kart, got it all ready. So hopefully we get some flame shots. Alright guys, so I know it was not a lot of driving, but wow, that was really fun. For some reason, I keep ordering the wrong parts though. Like, um, the issue this time was um, I had a friend measure the linkage and he ordered the, or he gave me the wrong size. So then I ordered the wrong part. So then the uh, chain continued to fall off and I had issues and it wasn't much driving. But as you saw in the end right there, I had a couple revs that were insanely loud. I've never heard it without earmuffs and just revving. It was shooting flames. For some reason, it's only at night. I'm trying to get a new exhaust that's a little bit longer um, and it's not like super close to me. Maybe one that comes out to like, you know, this length, you go to ways away. So when it's shooting flames like that, I'm not getting on, caught on fire. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Sorry, super short, sorry, there's not a lot of driving. I'm trying, it got really busy. I'm still really busy, so I'm trying to get the content, you know? So yeah, I think next, next episode is gonna be the white car actually running, uh, which would be the best thing ever. So stay tuned, I'll catch you guys in the next one.